Hi, so I'm Cunin Leslie, I'm the Head of Electricity, Network Development and National Grid. So a typical day for me would be either turning up in Warwick at our national headquarters for National Grid, uh, meeting with the team to understand the issues and the problems that they're, that they're facing, and we can work together to make sure that they have a clear direction and a strategy as to how to make sure we have a network that's fit for the future. Another typical day may be going to meet ministers or other stakeholders to talk about the challenges the National Grid faces and to help them to inform either policy decisions or to increase their understanding such that uh, the decisions or the direction which they go as key stakeholders affected by National Grid are heading in the right direction. So I personally got into this line of work because we used to holiday in the UK uh, as a family because we weren't very wealthy and inevitably in the UK the weather was not very good. And back in the day, power stations used to have opening centres and visitor centres where you could go in and have a look around. And we used to do a few of those, and I thought this was amazing. The scale, the size, the noise, and the importance of what these people were doing within the power stations was just really, really impressive. So at the age of 11, I decided that this was a career path that I wanted to take. So that meant I worked really hard at school in maths and physics and all of the science subjects. Did my um, sort of Further education, I took a power system engineering degree uh, from Liverpool University. Uh, but through that period, I was sponsored by the National Grid. So they helped me with some funding and gave me jobs through the summer, such that I could help support my studies. And then on graduation, I joined National Grid, and I've been there uh, for the last 25 years. So the qualities that you need um, to do my job within National Grid, or even within the utility industry, um, is we need a whole spread of careers. So you, you, we need commercial people, we need contractual people, we need people that can really understand the technical steps of power system engineering. And all of, the, all of those qualities come together with a passion for learning, a passion for trying new things, and really understanding this industry from all aspects, of how the consumers are going to change their behaviour in the future, to how the energy industry is changing and how big investments are working. And the quality really that to really be successful in National Grid is we have to bring together all these challenging and competing uh, issues and to find a way forward that makes sure that we have a network that is fit for the future. So the best thing about my job at National Grid is really just the size and the scale and the impact of what we do as an organisation and seeing every day the fact that the lights are on today, the fact that it goes without being noticed to most people. Most people just flick the light switch at home, turn on their Xbox and it's there and it works. And to be part of that industry that ensures that that happens, and to be part of the industry that is really looking to the future to ensure that it's also going to happen into the future, is really rewarding and a really satisfying part of the job. So if you'd like to get into this line of work in the utility industry or with National Grid, um, we are looking, as I said already, we are such large organisations, pretty much any skill set we need, whether that's from real technical design of designing a transformer or an overhead line or building that transformer or overhead line, so real civil engineering, mechanical engineering, through to commercial negotiations and contractual structures, right the way through to power system operations, sort of in the space where I am. We need all of those skills and what we do is um, we search the universities, we search the school leavers to get the very best people to come and work in, in this industry. Schools have a key role to play in making pupils much more aware of energy and what consumes energy, where it comes from and how they can control the energy uh, that they use. So understanding that leaving the water tap running whilst you're cleaning your teeth is not just a waste of water but it's also the energy that has gone into cleaning the water, pumping the water to get into your household and then again cleaning the water in the sewage works as then it flows back into the river or the sea and starts to cycle again. So it's just being really aware of everything that we do and how energy is part of that and understanding what you can do to, to control your own consumption of energy. And then on a broader scale, if you would get a career in this industry, understanding how your thoughts and ideas and your skills and knowledge can really help transform our energy future.